Katia V5, Gerati Shape Design. This will be regarding multiple extract. So this will be the tool that we are going to discuss. Within my previous video, I discussed also extract and boundary. So it will have an individual video. Now, if you're going to take a look at the part, we're going to see we have a part body. This will be in gray. This will be in green. If you don't know why that happened, you can also check my video regarding that. Now, the multiple extract will you will use the same functionality just like simple extract. The only difference is that the extracted components will be joined together. So for example, over here, I can do an extraction from this geometrical set, which we see this rectangle and um, it has been added the thickness using the volume operation over here. And I can select that. I can select the face over here, which is from part design. And I can also select a surface over here. If I will click OK, we're going to see that we're going to have a multi-result management in this case, and we can choose to keep all elements. And if I will right click, center that graph, we're going to see that within a single multi-extract, all of those features will be extracted. So I can double click on that. The multi-extract will also be editable. So that means I can enter over here. I can do a complementary mode, but in this case, complementary mode will select everything that has not been selected. And since this is from multiple part bodies and multiple geometrical set, this will not work. We can also do a federation over here. So if I will add that, we're going to have the F added. So that means it will be linked. We can also do a band domain merging. And if you are not familiar with band domain merging, Let's take a look at the documentation over here. We see that when this, when the select elements um, to extract come from different domains of the same feature, the multi extract feature will leave them in different domains. So even if the elements are connected to each other. So using the band domain merging, you can have those uh, left within different domains. If you're going to take a look over here at the um, Continuity, so we're going to have the same uh, functionality over here. I will just do another multiple extraction. In this case, I will go for a tangent continuity. I will select this. And we're going to see that the newly defined extract will be all the way over here up to here. So in total, we're going to have three segments. Now, since this line is also green, I will make it differently. So I will make it orange. Keep in mind that everything by default that is extracted either uh, as boundary, as extract or multiple extract will be colored in green. So you can change those within Katia settings. Therefore, this is why I encourage you not to have the color green added. So just like we had over here for that curve. If I will select this as a um, tangent continuity, we're going to rapidly see that uh, result for the extract in green. We can also, also choose curvature continuity. And in this case, we're going to see that this will be discontinued over here within that point and again over here. And afterwards, we're going to have a line and we're going to have that uh, tangency over here and another spline at the top. We can also go with no propagation. That means I'm only going to have that um, selected element. So in this case, I added that. If I will click OK, we're going to see that the multiple extract will be only over here. But if I will do a multiple extract and I will select the interior over here, and afterwards, for example, the top over here, and I will also select this one, we're going to see that we cannot add within the same um, multiple extract both surface and wireframe in this case. So if I will click OK, I will keep all elements. We're going to see that the multiple extract will actually only have those two elements. So keep that in mind. We can also choose various support for those extracted components as well. Now, if I will jump over here within the multiple edge extract, this is a feature that is no longer available in Katia. So we see over here, uh, this is the extract. If I will double click on this, since I'm within a newer version of Katia from 2017, we're going to see that multiple edge extract command is no longer allowed. 
So in this case, we need to use multiple extra command. Keep in mind that before this, there was also the um, extract edge operation available, but now that has been linked to both normal extract or multiple extract and even boundary in some cases. What I also want to discuss regarding uh, multiple extraction. So we can also use multiple extract in a product. So we see over here various parts. If I will go with multiple extract, even though I extended the base over here, for example, and I activated this in order to go within the workbench, so geometry shape design, I can do a selection from the roller, as we can see over here, those two surfaces, and I can add within the same multiple extract, for example, the component over here from the base. If I will click OK, I can keep again all the sub elements and all of those will be added over here since I double click on the base. We see that multiple extraction. If I, will if I will hide that, that will go within the hidden section and this will be the multiple extract. And I can also adjust the color over here. Now, if I want my extract to be within a different component, all I have to do is activate that for example the roller and now if i do the extract that will be added over here we see that this component has been generated using a shaft therefore if i want to extract over here for example those faces over here that are conical i can click ok keep all elements and this will be the newly defined um, extraction again if i will hide this, this will be taken over here and we see that multiple extract the, the face added over here. We can do the same uh, usually when you extract components from assemblies, it is a good idea to add a new component and uh, within this new component you can also add a name, for example uh, extracted extracted surface if I will enter this and I will do all my extractions over here, since I double click on this, Katia will understand that this will be the define in work object. And over here, maybe I want to extract those. And I can also extract different elements. I can click OK, keep all elements, and we're going to have those added over here. And now if I will just hide the previous components, and I will only enable the extracted surface, we're going to have this. We can also copy pre-existing uh, extracted components. So I can use copy. I can come over here within the extracted surface and have the possibility to paste the either uh, in part document over here or as a result with a link or just as a result and this will just convert that to a surface. So. This still is um, a feature, so if I will double click, it will have history. We see the faces that have been selected, while the one that has been copied over here, which will just be a result. So this will be surface seven. If I will double click this, this will no longer be editable. But uh, over here where I did that extraction, again, if I will double click, that will be editable. But currently that is also set to be hidden so i need to activate it okay so overall this was regarding multiple extract i hope you find this video useful i will position a similar video over here on the left side and i will also add a subscribe button to the right so i hope you enjoy this kind of content thanks for watching and see you in the next video